Aegis Slash, Cremorin, and Caster Style Ninetales all got a huge buff in the recent update, and we're gonna review all of them in the Master Rank Solo Queue to find out which one got the best buff and which one is most fun to use right now in Pokemon Unite. Let's go. Yo, guys, how's everyone doing? This is Ragan Assassin Dave. Welcome back to Team 4 and Famous Family again, and welcome to another video, this time featuring the brand new revamped buffed Pokemon, whatever you like to call them, because we got a bunch of updates in this patch, and it's so exciting. I've been playing all of them for quite a few days, and I gotta tell you, the current meta is probably the best meta in Pokemon Unite so far with so many viable options that you can use and make them work. And today we're gonna focus on three of my favorite Pokemons in the game that actually got quite a bit of changes, well-deserved changes, so you can see which one you like and which one you should try next. There are a bunch of other changes that's also really, really great, including changes on Bussy, changes on Trevenant, that we will try out in the next episode. So make sure to smash the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells so you don't miss the buzz when the video goes live. Now, let's first talk about Aegis Slash. Aegis Slash has been quite underwhelming for a long period of time now. Finally, we're getting a decent buff on this very, very interestingly designed Pokemon. I gotta say, every time there's a Pokemon that has level of sophistication, like Aegis Slash, when we're talking about the form changes, the sword form and the shield form, it's actually quite fun. But it was such a shame for a long period of time that Aegis Slash just wasn't able to do enough to compensate for how squishy this character is. Finally, we are getting to a version that Aegis Slash is coming to the meta and maybe even a dominating position. First of all, your overall boosted attack, your signature move is now getting a huge buff. The ratio got increased and also the additional damage where you do 7% of targets max health instead of 6% like before. That means if you do 4 slashes, you can do close to 30% of somebody's max health. This applies to Zapdos as well. And for those who didn't know, if you use Secret Sword on top of the target, you also ignore 45% of their their defenses, that means your damage is truly amplified and goes straight to the enemy's HP. Not to mention, we got quite a bit of buff on the Secret Sword, the first skill itself. So right now, if you use the Secret Sword and the Great Shield combo, you are truly gonna become the Slash of Justice. And one more thing that I really like about Aegis Slash is how fast you can farm your Unite back now in the current meta. I mean, Aegis Slash only has a 100 second cooldown on the Unite to begin with, a much shorter than the 134 seconds compared to Cinderace, to Sidra, Greninja, all those Pokemons. And on top of that, you can farm really, really fast thanks to your passive. In this particular game that you're watching, I used my Unite around like 250 for the last Unite and I was able to get it back at Zapdos time. Means I got my Unite within one minute and that is insane. Saying that is basically a zoom rail Pikachu level of Unite Timer. But different from Pikachu, Aegis Slash actually farms wild Pokemon really, really fast. Now, with all that being said, I think there's still something that Aegis Slash can improve on, which is a Unite move. If the developer somehow make the Unite move single target or just make Unite wider so it's easier to land, I think Aegis Slash will be one of the baddest Pokemon in the entire game, most popular, and also the easiest to use to rank up. What do y'all think? Leave a comment down below. Next up, we have Kremlin. Kremlin just received one of the most interesting buffs on the Unite move, where now it's actually one of the most popular Pokemon used on the bottom lane attacker position. In fact, Kremlin is so popular now, it's actually more popular than Pikachu a lot of times. This is mainly because the huge amount of burst damage you can do with your skill 1-2 combo, aka the Surf and Hurricane combo, as well as your Unite damage. You see, the biggest concern before the update for Kremlin was just a Unite timer. Imagine 134 seconds on the Unite, which is almost double the time for Pikachu. Basically, if you guys don't farm at all, Pikachu can get two Unite off probably on the one Unite time for Cremorant. And now finally, we got a 10 second Unite cooldown reduction on Cremorant, which means you can use your Unite a lot more frequently. And we got a damage buff on Cremorant's Unite as well, which means you're gonna have a lot more impact on Cremorant's Unite. Another buff about Cremorant that I really liked is the Air Slash buff. Now you can heal so much because it added one more slash with your air slash. Effectively, they buffed the damage and the healing by 25% of this skill. So if you do dive and air slash, you will heal so much and deal so much damage at the same time. And you will see in this gameplay the absurdity of that lifesteal with the new buffed air slash. 
With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see in this particular gameplay, our team is in shambles. It's, it's three minutes left on the clock and I barely reached level 13, but with persistency and consistency on farm, we were able to eventually reach level 14. And because the Unite move cooldown reduction, we were able to get our Unite back before Zato spawn in barely one minute and 10 seconds. And my dear viewers, are you ready to witness the detective cowboy Kremant dominating the battlefield and winning the game one one versus nine style. Go different giving. Get wrecked, kid. Let's go another 100 here. Holy crap! Oh my god! Kram is so busted! Look at this lifesteal, guys! Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Let's go. I am actually impressed with myself. We won! Dave's 200 points in the end. Carried the game with Kram. Last but not the least, I want to talk about Ninetail. Ninetail actually got an adjustment, a little bit of nerf on Aurora Veil, and a little bit of buff on the caster style Ninetail, the Blizzard and the Avalanche combo. But overall, I think Ninetail got a buff. The reason being Aurora Veil was way too OP. Now, how OP was Aurora Veil? Let me put it this way. There was one game I was playing Charizard, I was level 15, I was in the Unite form, I was flying in the sky, and I was breathing fire on this Alola Ninetail, and A9 simply jumped into the Aurora Veil and started all attacking, and guess what? Every time I breathe fire on this Alola Ninetales, instead of doing damage to it, it felt like the A9 was actually healing more than I could do damage, and I was a level 15 Charizard in my Unite form. I mean, if that's not a true testimony of how busted Alola Ninetales Aura Veil is, I don't know what else can tell you that this skill was way too overtuned in the last patch. So I'm actually really happy that Aura Veil got tuned down a little bit. Now, this doesn't mean Alola Ninetales Aura Veil is not good. In fact, a lot of players are still using Auravel as our go-to Alola Ninetale build. But see, as a fanatic, as a fan for Gardevoir, the queen of them all, I like caster builds. I like Pokemons that I can poke, that can do damage from far away. And sure enough, the buff on Blizzard truly made that happen. Because a lot of times when I was playing the previous version of A9, one of my biggest complaints was how hard it was to actually land my Blizzard and Avalanche combo. Now, ever since the buff, it felt like that problem has just been completely taken away, eliminated, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. In another word, the one-shot combo is back in the meta. In fact, if you have not gotten punished by the one-shot Blizzard Avalanche combo, well, you probably haven't played against the Assassin Dave Alola Ninetales. In this video, you will see how we use A9 one-shot build to destroy everybody's HP bar and just make them disappear like magic. Now the thing about Blizzard now, it will actually do extra ticks of damage if you're able to hit it with a wall. That means your damage with Blizzard and Avalanche combo is drastically amplified. It's just people haven't realized how OP this is. If you're able to land your combo properly in a current meta where body bear is no longer a thing, god damn, you are truly gonna make an impact on the AO Silent. So with that being said, my dear viewers, please enjoy some highlights of the Blizzard and Avalanche one-shot combo destroying every ugly looking Pokemon on AO Silent. They all united though. All right, do another one-shot combo on them. One HP, do zap, there we go. Oh my god. Which Pokemon update did you like the most? Leave a comment down below and remember to join our daily live streams with a link in description so you can witness all the type of action live and ask me any questions regarding the new meta and I will be there to answer your sweaty questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another one with a thumbnail right here. Just for